I'll go ahead and ask you uh, just to tell me about, you know, kind of how you feel at this uh, point where you're getting ready to leave uh, the job that you've been with uh, since 1996. 96. It'll, it'll be a bittersweet experience in that, uh, uh, you know, I will miss the people that I've worked with at the staff level and the city council. They, you know, the last number of councils have been very good folks, uh, pleasure to work with, committed folks that are interested in moving the city forward. Um, we're working on a number of interesting projects. I'm not going to be able to see some of those fulfilled, but uh, I think it's just time for me to uh, step aside after 30 years. There's other things in my life personally that I'd be interested in doing, and uh, now seems like a good time to go out while things are moving smoothly. I uh, really wouldn't want to leave the city in a situation where there was some conflict or controversy and have them feel like I was walking out on them, so I, I feel that... Uh, uh, a level of commitment that uh, the timing is just right for me personally and professionally and uh, look forward to assisting in the transition so that whoever uh, the council deems worthy to uh, fill my shoes, I can lend some assistance in that and make sure that uh, we leave all on good terms and the uh, uh, very successful administration with the council and the city that we have right now will continue to go forward and serve the citizens of Philomath very well in the future. Okay, and then uh, I guess I might also ask, uh, if you don't mind, uh, kind of uh, what your plans are to stay connected with Philomath in the future and, uh, and you know, plans after you leave. Yeah. Well, we still have family here. We'll keep our house uh, for the time being. We'll probably be visitors uh, at least once a month or so as we come back and visit and check in on folks. Uh, so there was not going to be any uh, you know, severing of the relationship so that we just kind of go off into the sunset and never to return. We'll be around for a while, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I don't want to be someone that's kind of poking my nose in and coming to council meetings and second-guessing them and sitting in the audience and, you know, that might be kind of fun, though. <laughs> but I don't think I'm interested in doing that. Uh, you know, I've, I've probably attended the, my last council meeting. I really have no interest in going to public meetings anymore, and offering my two cents worth. I've, I've heard enough of it. Uh, I really don't feel I need to be on the other side being a critic of uh, local government and giving them my uh, ideas on how they should do things. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, heading into retirement and uh, the, uh, the, the benefits of obscurity and uh, just, uh, you know, kind of vegetating and having fond memories of what I was able to accomplish and people I worked with over the last 30 years. Okay, thank you.